Okay, I am here today to give a review of sorts to the Apple iPad in the ESV Bible app on the iPad. You'll have to bear with me here on my one-handed video shooting and one-handed uh, navigating of the iPad. As you can see, it's starting up here. Once you start it up, you have to slide a little thing to unlock it. And then it goes to the main screen. I'm showing you the uh, main screen there. You can see the different apps at the top. Fading out. Not fading out. Zooming out. Zooming out? Is it zooming out? I don't know. Whatever. I'm not a big video maker. There you can see me cycling through the apps. So I'm showing you how they sh appear on the screen. That shows your main utilities. And then back to the apps. And there's the ESV Bible app right there. Okay, I'm going to tap it once, and it didn't want to work, okay, problem, my problem, okay, I tapped it there, there's the load screen, and as you can see, that's the text of the ESV, um, doesn't, I don't know if it comes through too good on the video, I haven't uploaded it yet, um, I'm showing you how it can easily scroll back and forth, up and down the text, very, very easy to use on the iPad. The font is very readable against the white background. Let's see, what am I doing there? Okay, you tap the uh, the little thing up in the left-hand corner, and that gives you every book of the Bible to go through, and then you can scroll through each book. I'm a little clumsy with my hands, so that list kind of kept closing on me. As you can see, you can scroll through and pick which book you want. Um, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua... You know, same old Gangs Chronicles, yada, yada, yada. And then, um, what book did I choose here? I'm narrating after I did the video. I picked uh, Proverbs. Yeah, Proverbs. Come on. There we go, Proverbs. And then once you click on the book, it expands and shows you all the chapters. And I chose, I think, 11 or something. Um, as you can see, it shows you up top there, Proverbs 10, that's what I chose. It shows you the chapter, and then there's the text, um, single column, it's not double column. There, there I am showing you how easily you can scroll through the text. Oh, oh, you persnickety people are going to have fun with that. And then I'm uh, going to another book, a little, you know, far out angle here. Um, I'm looking at, oh, that was Jonah, okay. I guess I didn't want to choose Jonah. Uh, Galatians. I chose Galatians. Yeah, you, you simply, you know, click on the book, and then choose your chapter and scroll around, and you can scroll to the next chapter. You don't have to open it up every time you want to go to a new chapter. You just okay. Then to close it, there's a little circle button on the bottom, and that uh, let's say close it. I decided I'd give you the uh, wide screen view of the ESV application. It's a little bit bigger font that way. Same scrolling functions, as you can see. You know, just... Then there's some things in the upper right-hand corner um, where you can have favorite verses. So you can favorite verses, just like in your regular Bible, I guess. Um, I had a hard time closing that because I'm kind of uh, slow with technology sometimes. So there I am trying to figure out how to close it. Hey, I figured it out. How about that? And then there's another thing where you can... I don't know what function that was. Maybe that's the favorites. Yeah, yeah, you put your favorites there. I'm... Then you can search the Bible there. Okay, next, um, see what I'm trying to figure out here. What I'm trying to figure out how to do is how to highlight a verse. So I was like uh, fumbling around all the stuff up there. And then I'm, then I'm thinking, oh, 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 I know what I got to do. So if you want to, now this is a neat function. If you want to highlight a verse, you tap the verse with your finger. And then, took me a little bit to figure that out. You tap the verse with your finger, and then a window pops up. And in that window, you can either, you can Twitter the Bible verse. Um, you can favorite it. And then there's a, a little button in there that, will allow you to highlight it yellow. I'm going to show that highlight function eventually. Okay, yep, I got the little window back up. I'm trying to show you the Twitter again. 
showing you how to favor it. There we go, I highlighted it. Yay, I figured it out. So it highlights it yellow, and then when you close the window, which I'm trying to do, do, I'm going to do it. Just stick with me. Yep. Apparently the tapping isn't working. Oh, click the Done button. There I go. Okay. And as you can see, there's a highlighted Bible verse. Um, I'm going to show you how to highlight another one. There we go. Hey, the monkey figured it out. Okay. And then, uh, then you, hey, there, there's another highlighted Bible verse. That's two of them. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it once again because the monkey figured out how to get the banana. Yeah, there's another one. Ah, the monkey got the banana three times. Look at that. Then when you scroll, well, you see the highlighted verse. And then what am I doing?